Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install these updates that is KB5067036 or KB5067939 31 on your Windows 11 computer because of this error code that is 0x800F0922 or 0x800240069. Now the first step is to run these commands. So type in CMD in Windows search box, make a right click on command prompt app. Make sure that you run command prompt as an administrator. Click on yes to allow. And then copy the first command, paste it over here, hit the enter key. Now this will run a scan. Let the scan be complete. Once the scan is 100% complete, copy the second command and then paste it on the same window. And once the second scan is 100% complete, copy the third command, paste it on the same window, hit the enter key. And once the second, third scan is 100% complete, then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to start, uh, pause and restart the update. Now for this, you can go to Windows Update and then over here you can see Pause Update option. Click on Pause and once paused, this may take some time and once paused, hit Resume Updates and then you can check. Still not working, you can start these services. Now for this, type in Services in Windows search box and then click on Services. Find App Readiness, make a double click on App Readiness, set this to Automatic, click on Apply, click on Start if highlighted. And then make a right click on app readiness and then click on restart. Now find windows update, scroll down, make a double click on windows update, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on ok, make a right click on windows update and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service, make a double click, set this to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted. Now make a right click on background intelligent and then click on restart. Now once done, now you can update your Windows 11 and then check. Still not working. The next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. The link is provided in the video description. And then whichever update is giving you the error, like KB5067036, then you can write down this update or if you're facing error with this update, that is KB5067931. So you can write down the name of that update over here and then click on search. Let me change the language over here. Now over here you can see the update. Now type in W-I-N-V-E-R in Windows search box and then click on WinWin. And in my case, the version is 25H2. Now check the system type. So for this, you can go to system in, in Windows settings and then go to about option. Here you can see system type is 64-bit operating system in my case. So for me, it's Windows 11 version 25H2 x64 base system. Now, if you have Windows 11 version 24H2 x64, then this is the right one for you. For me, this is the right one. Now click on download. Now click on KB5067036, click on the update and let the download complete. Once the download is complete, click on this file and you can install this update manually. And then just follow the on-screen instruction, install it and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can check. Still not working, the next step is to Use fixed problems using Windows Update option. Now for this, open Windows Settings, go to Windows Update, Advanced option, scroll down, click on Recovery option. Here you can see fixed problems using Windows Update. This will reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files and settings will be preserved. So click on Reinstall now. This process will take some time and once this is done, restart your computer and then update and then check. Still not working, the last step is to use Media Creation Tool. Now for this, you can open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. On this website, scroll down here, you can see uh, Media Creation Tool. Click on Download now and then you can run this exe file. Now, once you run the exe file, you click on Accept over here and then by default, Windows 11 will be selected. Click on Next. Select ISO file over here and then click on Next. You can save it to Desktop, Save and then let the download complete. This process will take some time and once the download is complete, 
click on finish option and then let it close automatically this will take a couple of seconds so maybe a minute and then you can go to desktop make a double click on windows iso file and then make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow and then click on next accept and here you can see ready to install by default the option to keep personal files in app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so hit install after the installation log into the computer and then update your windows 11. so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your windows 11 computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel